We live full time in our 32 foot travel trailer and we did a Costco haul RV style reel that actually went viral. And that was really surprising to me, but also so much fun because uh, I told Matt that it would just be fun to show everybody what it looks like to do a Costco haul when you're living full time in your RV, having no idea that it would be such a popular topic. We just thought we would answer some of the questions that were in the comments uh, because it's hard to cover all of that in a minute or under in a reel. So some of the things people were asking were what we buy at Costco and could we share the daily meals that we make since we live in our RV. Uh, we did receive quite a few comments of people saying that it's not possible to eat healthy when you're living in an RV. And we're here to totally debunk that myth because we really try to eat as healthy as possible. So we are gluten free. We also eat almost all organic. We also eat as clean as possible. And by as clean as possible, I mean, if we're looking at packaged items, the label for the ingredients, we're looking at five ingredients or less if we can and the cleanest ingredients possible. We also eat no seed oils. So we're not gonna eat any canola oil, any vegetable oil, sunflower oil, anything like that. So we're strictly like avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, and that makes a big difference in what we're able to buy because there is sunflower or canola oil in pretty much almost everything. So. We have found Costco to be the absolute best resource for us, especially on the road full time, because we're able to, wherever we're at, we're able to find pretty much the same things and continue eating the same way that we usually do. So we'll just go through that today and show you what we're eating. So I'm gonna put my reading glasses on so I can share a little bit with you. So the first thing that we buy is the organic rice ramen noodles. And we love these because they're organic. They have eight grams of protein per cake. They're also gluten-free and they have two ingredients. So we use these as spaghetti noodle replacements and we also use them to make like fettuccine alfredo with shrimp and uh, we also do a lo mein dish with this. These are very, very good. Highly recommend these. We buy our wild caught Alaskan salmon. We also do not do any farm raised fish. We only do wild caught fish. So this wild caught pink Alaskan salmon is so good and we add this as our protein source in our salads for lunches. Extra virgin olive oil. The next is these skinny dipped peanut butter cups. And the reason, we haven't even tried these yet, but we were looking at the ingredients and it's pretty much um, like clean ingredients. There's no palm oil and there is no stevia, which we really appreciate and gluten-free as well. So we're excited to try those. Matt's especially excited to try these. We love the sweet pickled beets from Costco and those do have a little bit of sugar in them, but we just look at it like, um, we know we need to eat beets for liver detoxification and they're good for us and a little bit of sweetness isn't going to kill us. So uh, the organic marinara, we really love this. Um, there's no extra like fillers in this sauce and it's gluten free, organic also. And I love that it's made with extra virgin olive oil. It is really hard to find sauces that are made with olive oil. Usually they have a canola oil or a vegetable oil or something like that. So we love that. That I think comes in a two pack or a three pack. 
Their salsa is the same thing and um, just the ingredients that are in the salsa, no extra fillers and all organic. So we really like that salsa. This is our avocado mayo that we absolutely love. This just has avocado oil, organic eggs, organic egg yolks, organic vinegar, sea salt, and rosemary extract. So again, your mayonnaise is usually gonna have some kind of seed oil in it, and that's why we picked this. This is also gluten-free, and we really appreciate that. Next is these organic chickpeas or garbanzo beans. And we are aware that eating from a can is not ideal. These are definitely non-BPA cans, which we do watch for. Um, obviously glass is going to be better. No plastic if you can help it. Sometimes you just can't help it, obviously. Um, but we use these to make a chickpea smash. So we will smash these up and we will add celery and onions and mayo and pep smoked paprika and lemon juice. And that is a sandwich filling that we use on our gluten-free wraps. We love this grass-fed butter, just two ingredients, and we only do grass-fed meats, so grass-fed butter as well. This roasted red pepper tomato soup is absolutely delicious and just is a really quick and easy meal for us on the days where we need it, where we're still able to pack in some vegetables and love that it's organic. Again, we know it's not ideal in the packaging, but um, we just have to make some sacrifices. So um, no filler ingredients and just good ingredients. The chicken stock I use for homemade chicken noodle soup. Uh, I will also use it for our broccoli soup that I make. And I mean, really any the base of any other soups and really, really like this. All right, so next we have these siete chips. We love these because they, there are very few ingredients in these chips. Gluten-free, they're really good, and the price on these at Costco is incredible compared to in other stores. They are really, really good, um, just for a, a little snack. This is gonna be the only thing that has um, less than 2% of an expeller pressed oil that we would not normally eat, but we literally can't find gluten-free bread that has nothing in it. So that's the reason we buy this. We don't eat a ton of it, and um, this is actually the best tasting gluten-free bread that we have found with decent ingredients. Another thing that we make is a detox drink and that has apple cider vinegar in it and we buy these in a three pack it's organic apple cider vinegar including the mother so we use that in our detox drink and then we also use this wonderful lemon juice also organic and organic maple syrup as well those are just three of the ingredients. There's a couple other ingredients. If you'd like to see the recipe for the detox drink, we have it in a post on Facebook and I'll also post it to a reel soon. We like to do smoothie bowls and so we buy the organic hemp hearts from Costco. They're a great source of omega threes and sixes, but they also are a really good source of protein. So really good to add to a smoothie bowl. You can also add them to your salads, smoothies, um, oatmeal and very very healthy for you. Another thing that we put in our smoothie bowls are these figs and these are really really good on top of the smoothie bowl. We also buy organic Brazil nuts and we do this because both of us have thyroid issues so you, these are a really good source of selenium. They're also good for so many other things. Really healthy to eat Brazil nuts, but you should only eat like one or two, but don't take that as medical advice. <laughs> Another thing we love are the organic dates. You can find these in the produce section, and these are such a good sweet snack. They're not going to spike your blood sugar, and we love to eat these with the grass-fed butter on them just the dates and the butter, so good, but also the dates with almond butter and some chocolate chips on top, and it's kind of like a Twix type, healthy Twix. 
the labels off of this, but we love the raw sauerkraut that we get from Costco as well. And this will be in the refrigerated section. The produce at Costco is really good and we love their organic mushrooms. Matt makes a really good cheesy baked mushroom, so that's like a treat when he makes them. So we also buy uh, greens there, salad mixes sometimes, organic celery, organic carrots, um, when they have organic grapes and organic strawberries and um, what else, organic blueberries, raspberries, all that kind of stuff. Really, really good produce at Costco. You cannot beat the selection and the price of the frozen produce at Costco. So we always have a bag of organic blueberries in our freezer. We use these in our smoothie bowls, in our oatmeal, if I want to bake blueberry muffins. We love these. We also use this, I'll probably say it wrong so you can correct me if I'm wrong, but ACI uh, superfood packets in our smoothie bowls. They just look like this. They are really, really good for you and you cannot beat the price of these at Costco. We love the mango chunks as well. And again, organic, can't beat the price. So we will also add these to our smoothie bowls. All right, these are the last few items. So the organic peas in the freezer section, really good. Organic broccoli, love to use this for broccoli soup. We also use this to roast it and eat it with the mahi-mahi that I'll show you next. It's just a great thing to have in the freezer for a vegetable. And as I mentioned earlier, we only do wild caught fish and the selection of wild caught fish at Costco is really impressive. So mahi-mahi is our favorite and for the price, it's, I mean, it might seem a little expensive for the price, but it ends up working out per meal to be pretty cost effective for eating healthy. So this is a great, great purchase from Costco. Thanks for coming along on this Costco haul. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Like I said, we share some recipes over on Facebook as well as lots of other full-time RV life information and work camping as well. So we would love to have you over there. You can also find us on Instagram and TikTok. Now get out there and wander.